China is showing us exactly how to deal with feminism. China deleting feminists from social media amid birth rate collapse. So here in the West, birth rates are pretty much non-existent outside of immigrants, and the government keeps empowering the, the cause of this. In China, they see a little bit of slippage, and they're like, no, we, we let you have your fun, we let you play your games, but uh, you need to shut up now. The Chinese Communist Party internet censors have allegedly deleted dozens of social media accounts belonging to Chinese women's rights groups ahead of the release of China's latest 10-year census, expected to show a sharp decline in birth rates for the fourth consecutive year. I just wonder how all those feminists who keep trying to get us censored are going to react. It's like, no, no, yeah, we want censorship, but we just want other people censored, not us. In recent days, more than a dozen accounts used by women's rights groups were deleted from the uh, Weibo social media platform, as well as cultural discussion site uh, Doban.com, the Wall Street Journal reported on April 19th. So they haven't hit Twitter and Facebook yet, but um, watch what happens when the Chinese government tells the Western corpos that can't stop virtue signaling about more human rights in the U.S., while ignoring them in China, right? remember, not a peep about Hong Kong, but they're all on board with burn, loot, murder. You know damn well if they told Twitter and Facebook to start um, taking things down even outside the country, they would. Now, from what I know, I think both of them may be banned within China, but if Chinese users are using them outside of China, oh, you know damn well that they're going to cooperate and uh, take care of them. Weibo is a Chinese microblogging website often referred to as Chinese Twitter. It is one of China's most popular social media platforms. Doban is another popular Chinese social networking service. Both Weibo and Doban, much like uh, China, the Chinese internet, are heavily censored by CCP authorities. Oh, so it's kind of like our internet here in the West, except it's big tech doing the censorship instead of the government. But in general, we get the same result, though. The deletions came as China awaits the results of a once-in-a-decade census, which has been expected uh, by early April, but have yet to be released. They're probably trying to, uh, to manipulate the numbers a bit before putting it out. Demographers expect the data to show a sharp drop in births in current year minus one, the fourth straight decline following a brief rise in current year minus five, and the first year after uh, the one-child policy was lifted, a Wall Street Journal reported. What are they afraid of, one Chinese social media user allegedly wrote in the wake of the mass deletions, according to the newspaper. Are they afraid of more whammons waking up? Are they panicking seeing the fertility rates and marriage rates? It's not about whammons waking up. It's stopping them from falling for the feminist brainwashing. I know I'm sounding like a, I'm, I'm beating the same drum. I'm beating the dead horse over and over again. I'm a broken record. But if you want to see the final destination of feminism, look up Sinead O'Connor's social media meltdown from a few years back. If you're a feminist, that's your future. That's a future that they're trying to save women from. And yes, also completely selfishly, they're trying to save their own uh, pay pigs because governments, especially in current year, when entire economies are structured to only work if they keep growing, if they start shrinking or if they fail to grow fast enough, like that, that's even worse. Even failing to grow fast enough will take all these economies down to their knees. So governments need wage slaves. They actually couldn't care less about anybody. They just need their wage slaves. Weibo officials issued a statement via their own verified Weibo account saying the microblogging site has recently removed some accounts because they were related to illegal or hurtful information, but did not provide further details. Is that so? Did not provide further details, huh? Does this sound familiar to any of you? Does it? To me, this sounds like exactly what we're dealing with here from big tech. They keep banning us? And they say we allegedly violated some rule or terms of service or cock or whatever. And then they never tell us exactly what we did. They didn't give us any specifics. Just uh, So I know last time I got uh, flagged, 
they they just said, oh, you're being flagged for violation of this policy, which was just like some nebulous thing like um, like like this one related to illegal or hurtful information. They say, oh, read up on our code of conduct to make sure this doesn't happen again. But they didn't tell me what I what it was I did. Man, uh, when this shit, when China takes over the internet in the West as well, and all these lunatics who've been censoring us get censored in the same way, I'm going to laugh so, so hard. The, yeah, I know. Everything you're complaining about is what we were complaining about a decade ago, but uh, you claimed I just, well, d- don't be such a horrible person and this won't happen to you. It's easy, right? So I'm waiting for you to show me. All you have to do is stop being such a horrible person. Why don't you show me how it's done, huh? A spokeswoman for China's National Statistics Bureau said uh, Friday, April 16th briefing that the agency needed additional time on the census because there was more data to process than in previous ones they reported. That's a lie. They're just trying to find ways to maybe manipulate the numbers so they don't appear as bad as they are. Uh, Lu Pin, a Chinese activist behind, uh, based in New York, whose Weibo account was taken down, says that Whammon's taking responsibility for the well-being of family members is like having free labor, according to the newspaper. Lou's comment uh, provides some insight to the type of content the CCP censors reportedly uh, targeted during the feminist account purge. You know, China's declining birth rate is uh, a subject of consternation for the ruling Communist Party, which in recent years has promoted the nuclear family as an ideal for young Chinese people to strive for. The message to marry and have children comes or have children early comes after the CCP encouraged young people to do the opposite for decades under the rule of their founder, Mao Zedong. It remains illegal in most of China for couples to have more than two children today. This is another example of a failure of communism right there. They they go for decades. They push a horrible idea. And then they try to push the opposite after implementing changes to make the opposite a horrible idea, too. You will never have population growth. You will never have an increase in marriages and childbirth if you also have feminism. If they fought back against feminism and also decided to tell their population to keep having more kids, they'd probably be up to like 3 billion people right now. Mao actively discouraged young whamans from marrying or having children during the early part of his rule as CCP chairman from 1949 to 1976, pushing for them to join the Chinese workforce instead. Wow, does this sound at all familiar? This is almost like what's happening to us right now in the West, huh? Yeah, you got uh, you got all these uh, feminists telling women, like, man, fuck having a family. Yeah, go to work. Work on your career. Enjoy that male privilege of working yourself to death in a thankless job. Doesn't that just sound so much better than staying at home and raising kids and just, like, cooking and cleaning? So much better. This anti-family propaganda, coupled with the uh, later one-child policy meant to counter runaway population growth from 79 to 2015, severely warped China's population and demographics. Yeah, that now we're getting to the good part. As families considered baby boys more popular, it's not a matter of popular, it's a matter of being useful as well. Millions uh, of parents aborted baby girls or left them to die outside after their birth since they could only legally keep and raise one child. The result has been a severe lack of childbearing women in China alive today. And uh, the women know this, by the way. Women understand. They know that they are very valuable in China right now. Very much so. Decades uh, of the one-child policy mean that there are now uh, simply fewer people of marriage age, Wall Street Journal noted Monday, adding that uh, fewer Chinese marry every year. Well, this ties into what I just said. These women, they know that, uh, you know, they could, they have their pick of the litter. Even the women who would be nowhere near the top of the desirability scale, they, they know. They, they know they could get almost whatever guy they want. Because uh, if you're a guy in China and uh, you got a girlfriend, you're basically her bitch. Because she knows that if it doesn't work out with you, there's going to be a hundred other guys clamoring for her attention the next day. And uh, that's actually leading to a lot of men to, well, go MGTOW, basically. 
The number of people getting married for the first time dropped from uh, 23.86 million in uh, current year minus eight to 13.99 million in current year minus two. Damn! Yeah, China's state-run Global Times reported in December in current year minus one, citing data from China's National Bureau of Statistics. The fall is largely due to the decline of newborn babies in the early 90s who have now come into early marriage or come into marriage age. Demographer Zhou Haiwang, deputy director of the Institute of Population Development under the Shanghai Academy of Social Sciences, told the newspaper. Statistics show that China's birth rate fell from 21.06 uh, to 17.12 newborns per thousand people from uh, 1990 to 1995, the Global Times reported. Apart from the uh, population issue, marriage itself is less attractive to young Chinese people. Uh, correction, young Chinese men today, as they are more independent, both financially and mentally, and more self-centered than previous generations, the CCP mouthpiece added. Guys are learning that uh, they, they could be better, you know? I bet they have nice red light districts, just like Japan. No reason to be some girl's bitch, yeah? If all you want is to uh, is, is to blow your load... There's ways to do it. Yeah, it's pretty much almost everywhere else in the world except for America. People are a lot less sexually frustrated because they don't have to live under the fucking boots of the Puritans. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.